Well, hi, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here as a, uh, another day of strong winds. The fire threat going to be at a high level again, so a red flag warning is in effect today starting at either noon or 1 p.m. and continuing through either 8 or 9 o'clock, depending on where you live. It includes almost every single county in the local four viewing area except for one, that is Pawnee County. But really, almost pretty much everybody out there is going to see a high threat of fire. Now, clouds have actually already pretty much cleared out out there this morning. The cloud clear line is actually really about right here. So as clouds have cleared out, we're going to enjoy plenty of sun today. Breezy north, breezy to a little bit windy out there again today. Those north and northwest winds are going to be strong. Uh, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds expected, not as high out west. These winds will uh, be at their strongest right in the middle of the day. Right there, notice the uh, arrows moving at their fastest. They'll come down a little bit late today. And they'll finally die down tonight. Lighter winds, they'll start to flip around, become more southerly later in the night. Skies remain mostly clear for Saturday, Friday night to Saturday morning. Saturday, a mostly sunny day, a few extra clouds late in the day, especially out west. So winds will be picking back up out of the south and southeast tomorrow. So once again, that fire threat's going to be at a high level. We are going to see a warmer day on your Saturday. Saturday night, partly cloudy skies, still some breezy winds out there ahead of a cold front that'll be right about here. That front's going to come through early on Sunday. That's going to bring in a slight cool down, and it's going to bring in some strong northwest winds, which means another day where the fire threat's likely going to be at a higher level. Well, we're going to warm it up today. Temperatures climbing back up into the 50s across the area, near 60 out west. Pretty chilly, though, tonight with the lighter winds. We're down into the 20s, mid and upper 20s, lower 30s. I will mention real quick, while the growing season hasn't started for us, Republic County, Kansas, in our viewing area, is under a freeze warning for late tonight and tomorrow morning. Technically, most of us, the growing season hasn't begun, so there's no need for those quite yet. But just a reminder that we are still uh, going to drop below freezing out there tonight. That still does happen this time of the year. Highs tomorrow, much warmer, upper 60s and 70s, even lower 80s out west. Upper 60s in Lincoln for the Husker spring game if you're going, but plan on some brisk winds out of the south and southeast. Tomorrow night, not as cold, 30s and 40s. You can see the uh, cold front begins to come through early on Sunday morning. Cooler temperatures to the northwest Sunday, warmer to the southeast still. We'll see 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s across the state. Those winds will be out of the northwest, and they will be strong. Looking at the long-range forecast here, you'll notice uh, temperatures coming up quite a bit tomorrow, then coming back down a little bit on Sunday. Uh, winds are going to be strong, so almost every day is going to feature some kind of fire threat out there. Breezy and Still uh, mild on your Monday, a slight chance of early morning rain and then a slight chance of evening and overnight rain. I'd say Monday evening is probably our best chance right there. Uh, warmer, windy day on Tuesday, probably another day of high fire threat. Wednesday, Thursday, all depends on how a couple of storm systems play out. That could determine if we get a good chance of moisture or a very small chance of moisture right now. So I'm not going to go too high on that chance right now, but we will see a big cool down coming in for the middle and end of the week and we're likely to see some very nasty winds. Wednesday and Thursday, the winds could be comparable to what we just dealt with the last this last Wednesday and Thursday. Some more strong winds could be on the way. Let's look at the European forecast model. This is Wednesday morning. Holding out hope for some good moisture, maybe some thunderstorms out east, but look at the snow out west. Strong winds with this system here, and we might get in on some of that snow by Thursday morning and during the day Thursday, and uh, I'd take anything at this point if it's moisture, though. But we'll see some nasty winds with this system here that will clear out on Friday, according to this model anyway. The GFS model is much, much different, though, with the timing of systems and with the strength. This one shows a much weaker system on Wednesday into Wednesday night and Thursday and shows barely any moisture for our area. But it does bring in a system as we get towards your Friday that might bring some rain and snow to our area. So kind of tough to tell right now that long range models all or the long range forecast is really, really difficult to predict right now because models are all over the place here. But it does look like we are going to cool down for the end of next week into Easter weekend. So likely don't plan on a uh, very mild Easter weekend if you do have plans, unfortunately, here. But uh, yeah, if we get some moisture, that would be great. I'm just not real confident in any of those chances right now, though, unfortunately. So that's why I'm keeping those chances so light or, or low right now. In fact, that 40% chance right now is probably too high for Wednesday here. But I'm just hoping maybe we can get something because if we don't, fires are going to become a regular thing around here. They kind of already have after what we saw yesterday in the last couple of days here. So uh, let's hope and pray for some moisture in the coming days ahead, especially as we get into early next week, early and middle portions of next week. So, all right, well, I'm going to let you go on that. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I will uh, see you all again 
on Monday with all of the latest and hopefully maybe a little more clarification on how things might play out next week. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one. Bye.